All right, welcome guys and girls. It's time to talk a little bit about new shit coming to the Outlast Trials because as you can see right here, the bomb event update is coming out obviously around the time where it's most convenient as we are celebrating a very special holiday, especially in America, about something that happened in 2001. Nah, Loki, I don't... I don't get how they can be, like, so controversial. It was already when... During Toxic Shock, where we had that costume and that pose during the gas event coming out. Like, let me get to that real quick. Just to get people, like, up to date what was like a thing right there like this outfit in the gas event yeah and now you now you do a bomb event right next to 9-11 that is you know that is some um, interesting decision anyways I just want to talk a little bit quickly about the update because a lot of people care about it so what does the update consist of we have this event right here which is the countdown event and this event is basically you have a bomb attached to you and it takes down the bomb at all times and you have to find timers to extend that time. You start at 3 minutes, every extender gives you an additional minute on top of it. Now if the timer runs out, you actually die, whether a solo or a group, it doesn't matter, you all have the same timer. You die and you instantly fail the mission. I did not expect Red Barrels to actually do something like this, I will be completely honest. I thought, you know, you're gonna play it safe, but I actually went hardcore with this. And as you can see right here, I have 38 failed trials and 5 or 6 of them were today. Like I was playing the new Doc MKs, which there's two new Doc MKs, Poison the Cattle, which you can't see right now, hold up, let me hide this for a second. Poison the Cattle and Empty of the Vault, two really good MK challenges that are also incredibly difficult in my opinion, at least right now obviously I will learn more and more as I go, but they are really tricky and having them with a bomb event that puts you on a timer so you can't learn the MKs properly is incredibly tricky. And I can say, like, this update truly humbled me already. Similar to how Ultra fucked me when Ultra came out for the first time, around 1.0 release. Like, I failed. Empty the vault, I failed once, like, dying to the explosion. And Poison the Cattle, I actually failed twice. Once right in front of the shuttle, which was hilarious. And you'll probably see that on the channel soon in some compilation or something. Main point is, these two MKs are amazing. I don't know if they're my favorite, but they are really tricky and difficult, and the map alongside it is incredibly cool. The casino area and what you're doing there is really well done. The bomb event, even though the bomb event isn't a lot, if you think about it, because it just adds a timer to it, the fact that it is so high stakes because you, again, you actually fail if the timer runs out and you just insta fail the trial, which in escalation especially, which I just finished my first escalation run, like I just finished the stream and we finished it off with my first escalation run for this update, I failed because of the bomb, which was like, holy shit balls, it's like so high stakes. And yeah, what else is there this update? There is like new catalog stuff with, hold up, catalogs. They added one extra page for each of the other ones, so you have this skin and that skin. It's three colors, so whatever. Same with this. Mind you, the gold mask one of the panty shorts outfit, it's, it's pretty cool, honestly, but I don't care too much about that. That one is... Nice real color, but there's this new event thing, which I've already started grinding, we're halfway. And you have some cool stuff here and there. I like this skin a lot, but the highlight is this room thing, which is basically a theater thing that's actually playing a movie at your window. And this is excellent. 
This is absolutely excellent, and there's another weak color in red, which is also pretty cool. So yeah, you have this event thing going on. You earn that by getting bomb points, which right now you get for um, doing the countdown thing, but you also get it for escalation, as I found out. Speaking of escalation, escalation has also changed quite a bit. And when I read it in the patch notes at first, I was like, Holy shit, they actually did it. So two major changes to escalation is that there's main trials now every 10 stages and if you get ultra You know how we had this thing uh, beyond 35 Ultra you actually get other variators as well and this spices shit up a lot let me tell you like me playing escalation was such a good experience that one run we did let me show you. Like, we had a run going till 25. Spoiler, I failed 20. Let me hide this. Like, we went to 25 and we failed at 25 because we were in Poison the Cattle, which was a trial I wasn't really familiar with, with the bomb, with Ultra. Like, it was absolutely nuts and you will probably see some of these highlighted on the channel as well soon. So... Prepare yourself for that because some of these were like really fun. So yeah, um, so these two are really massive alongside a bunch of improvements along the way. For example, some things don't appear in Escalation anymore when you are playing solo. For example, the no player name bullshit doesn't appear anymore, which is really good because that was just wasting space. There are some more evidence documents as well, but also there are some balance changes. That actually happened like we actually had balance changes now for Rick There is not too much they nerfed stun they gave it back. It's 180 second cooldown This was the cooldown that was in 1.0 update and in the 1.0 update They reduced it to 120 for some weird reason and now they returned it back and For x-ray they made the range bigger finally again. So instead of 10 meters it's 15 meters. Now these two changes, will this change the placement of the rigs? Probably not. X-Ray will probably still be the worst. It still needs a bit more help. Stun will still probably be the strongest, busted, whatever. But it's not out of control anymore, if that makes sense. And it's, you know, a good start. Now regarding amps, there have also been some interesting changes. Including one that's not in the patch notes, but we have already seen that in escalation now What has been changed is smash this is like the big one basically they added the ability to smash corp doors with Smash which is such a good change. I don't care that smash is pretty much one of the best amps right now this little utility is something that you could even argue it needed because I've explained it multiple times before the difference between smashing something with two hits versus one hit isn't that big so having this extra utility and extra layer that if you're playing solo you can break core doors and you have like unique placing or positioning or you know unique shit happening is really good double doses finally got the change that it Deserved like forever ago where pills get you to respawns if you get a pill in Like you know with this equipped which in escalation is obviously insane But this is some change that should have been already when the courthouse update came out and they introduced the respawn pills back then I thought they would already do that, but took them long enough, but now it's like here. Yeah. And for last chance, they've basically done a bug fix, more or less, where if you have it equipped, status effects cancel. So it is a buff, because previously if you were bleeding, last chance would get ignored by the bleeding and you get insta-downed. But now if last chance triggers, stuff like bleeding stops. Or I could imagine psychosis also stops. I haven't tested that, but I would imagine that too. 
So these three are official. Now the first I found unofficial is strong arms has been nerfed for some reason. It's now instead of 15 seconds, it's 8 seconds. They sped up the animation quite a bit. In general, they sped up a lot of animations this update. For example, the core coil opening door animations have really been cut in half. A lot of those, you know the ones where it's like bam, 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 and it opens slowly. They've really sped these animations up. So they probably sped it up alongside it. So I think this is intentional and not a bug. But yeah, strong arms is gonna be a lot weaker. I think it will still have its place and be average. But the fact that it's like a lot shorter of a stun, like it's only 8 seconds and you use the brick. Like you still have the thing where the brick shatters immediately. I don't think it's gonna be that much worth it anymore. And yeah... Maybe there's some other amps that have changed like this, but this is the one that really stood out that was not mentioned in the patch notes. And yeah, other than that, there have been a bunch of fixes and, you know, improvements, including that you can now press tab again and actually look at your objective. Thank you so much, Red Barrels, for that. Thank you so much. And yeah... That is my quick overview over the update. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more Lost Rise content in the near future. Now coming up again with new challenges and stuff since we have new content coming around. I'm sorry that we will probably, like, I've probably missed some important stuff this update. But I've summarized the most important stuff. And there's probably some stuff that's gonna get figured out as we go into this update. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will enjoy the event and the variate as much as I do. And yeah, other than that, have a great rest of your day and take care everyone. Bye bye.